All right, Algebra 1, Lesson 108. This is on square roots revisited and then also radical x equations. Okay, before we get started, I want to revisit square roots real quick, okay? So, for example, 2 squared is 4. 2 times 2. But what about negative 2 squared? Hopefully you remember that negative 2 times negative 2, when it's inside the parentheses, you can do it like that which still gives us a positive answer, 4, okay? Now, next thing I want to show you is this, which you've done, you've done this in the past as well. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2, which the book will just show you square root of 2, square root of 2. Remember when numbers or letters are next to each other, it means multiply. So square root of 2 times square root of 2, hopefully you remember that that actually just erases that and just gives you the answer to. So for example, um, square root of 64 times the square root of 64, we know square root of 64 is 8, square root of 64 is 8, and 8 times 8 is 64. So when you have two of them, it basically just cancels out that and just gives you the number. 64 is our answer. 2 is our answer. So that needs to definitely be in your memory as you um, just begin to do this lesson. All right, let's get a little bit harder. Um, for example, when you see square root of 2, and then you see it squared, okay? What I want you to notice is that the square root of 2 and then squared basically means square root of 2 times square root of 2. It almost would be like, well, it would be like 4 squared is 4 times 4. So square root of 2 squared is that times that, which we know gives us the answer 2. So when you see this, basically this and that cancel each other out. Square root of and then the square of basically cancels it out and we have 2 as our answer. Okay? Now, if you still just need to write it down so that it makes sense to your brain, you can do that. For example, let's do another one. Square root of 7 squared. Again, remember that this and this cancels it out, so the answer is going to be 7. But if you wanted to actually perform it, it would be square root of 7 times the square root of 7. The seven, square root of 7 squared is square root of 7 times square root of 7. So we know that square root of 7 times square root of 7 is 7 because square root of 64 times the square root of 64 is 64 because square root of 64 is 8. Square root of 64 is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Okay? Just a quick, quick review. Now, now you're going to learn something a little bit harder. For example, square root of x squared plus 4. And then they've got squared. Okay? Now, hopefully you remember from the last things that we've done is that this and this cancels out. And we have whatever's left, x squared plus 4. So that would be the answer. Okay? Let's try this one. Square root of amx squared pp. And all of that is squared. Remember that this and this cancels out. And we just bring everything down. That's our answer. Okay? So regardless of what you do, that's the answer each time, whatever's on the middle, because this cancels out this. Okay? So now let's do some of the problems they have for us, okay? Um, real quick. But before they do that, they wanted to show this real quick. X squared equals that. Well, let's see if we're right. If 2 squared is 4, then what would x be? Okay, sorry about that. So, we come back up to here. What squared equals 4? Okay, and we know that it's 2 squared, which equals 4. So, 2 is our x. Okay? Now, they just wanted to show that because if I had a 2 there, it would equal 4. But even if I had a negative 2 squared negative 2 times negative 2, it would still give me a positive answer. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, which equals 2 squared, which is 4. So they're showing that you can do negative 2 or positive 2 on that. Just letting you know. Okay, now, 
This next thing that I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to do 108.2 first and then go back up to 108.1. And I'll tell you why in just a second. They want me to solve. Solve. And they've got square root of x minus 2 minus 6 equals 0. Now, um, what? remember from previous lessons, you're always trying to get your x by itself. And because x is with this, we're going to leave it for just a minute. Let's go on and take this minus 6 and move it to the other side. So then that minus 6 or negative 6 becomes a positive 6. Okay? And this 0, you can put plus 0, but it's not going to matter because 0 is worth nothing. So 6 is our answer right there. So then I'm just going to bring this down again, x minus 2. Now, remember a while ago, um, in order to work this, we're going to try to get this square root off. And what takes that square root off is when we square it, right? Okay, when we square it, this cancels out this. So then this becomes x minus 2. But what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So if I square this, I also have to square this. So 6 times 6 is 36. See that? Okay? And now, I'm going to try to answer for x by itself now. So this minus 2, I'm going to bring over here and put plus 2. Minus 2, when you take it across the equal sign, it changes to plus 2. So then x equals 38. Now, let's go back up here to the original problem, and I'm going to try to erase all my markings. If x is 38, let's put 38 in there. 38 minus 2 minus 6 equals 0. So all I did is took my x answer, x equals 38, and inserted it where my x is. Okay? So let's do this problem. 38 times minus 2 is 36, and it's still in its square form, bringing everything else down. What is the square root of 36? 6. 6 minus 6. What is 6 minus 6? 0. 0 equals 0. That means that we are correct and 38 is our answer. Okay? It's always good to check it because watch what happens to this next one. Let's do 108.1. Here's what it says. Solve x minus 2 square root of plus 3 equals 0. Again, we want to leave our x parts to, to themselves, so I'm going to take this plus 3 and make it negative 3 or minus 3. Okay, now I'm just going to bring this down, x minus 2. Okay, how do I get rid of this? I square it, and what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. Okay, so this cancels out that, so this becomes x minus 2, and then negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3. And negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9 because an even number of negatives gives us a positive answer. Okay, so now I've got x minus 2 equals 9. So I'm going to answer for x, so this minus 2 is going to be going plus 2. x equals 11. Now, let's go back up to the original problem. If x equals 11, I'm going to put it back in there. 11. Okay? 11 minus 2 is 9, plus 3 equals 0. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. Does 6 equal 0? No. So, the way that they want you, since this is false, the way that they want you to answer this is to say the solution set of this equation is empty. Empty set. So that's how you would say it. Say it. It's an empty set because it was false. Okay? You can go in and answer it out, show us that x is the answer, x is 11, but then tell me that it's an empty set. Okay? Let's do a few more. Okay? Um, 108.3. Um, it's a little bit different, so pay attention. x squared plus 9, and then we've got minus 5 equals 0. Again, I'm going to keep this by itself. Move this minus 5 over here to a positive 5, and then x squared plus 9. Again, I want to get rid of my radical, square root of, so I'm going to do the same thing. 
All right, and so then that makes that x squared plus 9 equals 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, you with me so far? All right, um, now, we're basically still trying to figure out what x is, okay? So, let's get this by itself. So this plus 9, I'm going to move across, become nine, minus 9. So x squared equals, and this is going to be 16. So then, what is x? x is 4. But it could also be negative 4 because negative 4 times negative 4 would give us a positive 16. So, it's so a negative 4 or a positive 4 is our answer for x. x equals negative 4 or positive 4. Okay? And you actually can go up and put the negative 4 in here, answer it. Put your positive 4 in here, answer it. And you will find that x is still both the same. 4 and negative 4 would be the answers. Okay? Um, let's see if there's one more thing I need to teach you. Yeah, so 108.4 and 0 .5 have one thing they're doing differently, so you really need to pay attention. So square root of x minus 1, and then I've got minus 3 plus x equals 0. So they add another x in there. So let's figure out what we're going to do on this. Okay? You want to get this by itself still, okay? But this x is still um, with all of this. So I want this radical, this expression, to be by itself for just a minute, and then we'll move some things back over. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to move both of these over. So this um, negative 3 becomes a positive 3, and this positive x becomes plus a negative x, or just a minus x, however you want to do it. Okay, and then that zero doesn't matter. So now I've got, okay, that's what we've got so far. Now, the second step they want us to take on this is to go on and square root everything. Okay, now this cancels this, so x minus 1. All right, but what about this? That is essentially saying 3 minus x times 3 minus x. 3 plus negative x twice. Remember this plus negative, you can make it minus or plus negative. All right, so that's basically saying that. All right, let me make sure I'm taking every step correctly. Yes, I am. So now what you're going to do is let's go on and perform this. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times a negative 1x makes it a negative 3x. Plus this plus negative 3x, a negative 1x times 3 would be another negative 3x, plus, and then this negative 1x um, times another negative 1x because, becomes x squared, and the negatives cancel out because um, negative times negative makes a positive answer. Now, let me make sure I've got everything right. Yes. Okay, now. Let's go on and add these two together because these are like terms. Negative 3x plus a negative 3x makes a negative 6x plus x squared plus 9. And then my x minus 1. See what I've done? All right, now the next thing they want us to do is when you get to this point is to go on and put um, all of these together. So we're going to move um, this 1x across the equals, and it's going to become a um, negative 1x. So let me write this down real quick. I'm just rewriting this for a second. And then I'm going to add this 1x to become a plus a negative 1x. And then this negative 1 is going to become plus 1. So I just moved this across, and then this negative 1 I moved across. Okay? So now let's add our like terms. Uh, negative 1x and negative 6x makes negative 7x. Come with those. Okay, and then this x squared by itself, and then this 9 plus 1 is 10. Okay, and I put it in x, x squared, x, and then number form, which is why I reorganized it already. Okay, so we're done with all of that. So this is our final answer, okay, but we still haven't figured out what x is. Okay, so let's put x squared plus negative 7x plus 10. Okay, the best way to find out what x is is to break up the x's. And the way we do that is by factoring. So you remember, like this, okay? 
And what times what equals 10, but subtracted or added equals 7? 5 and 2. 5 and 2, 5 times 2 is 10. And then negative 5 and negative 2, that would give us a positive 10. Negative 5 and negative 2 would give us a negative 7. So, again, if we want, remember 0 was the answer. If 0 is the answer at the end, then what minus 5 equals 0? Well, on this one, 5 would be the answer. And on this one, what minus 2 would be the answer? This one would be 2. So if x is 5, then 5 minus 5 is 0. And if x is 2, then 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay? So then on this, we've got our x is 2 and x is 5. We would go back up to the original problem, which was square root of x minus 1 minus 3 plus x equals 0. And we would put 2, sorry. Sorry about that. I keep having to um, turn it off and on. Okay, so once you get down to x equals 5 and x equals 2, you're going to go up to your original problem, and you're going to take x equals 2, for example, 2, and you're going to put it back in the problem everywhere you see an x. 2 here and a 2 here. And if it equals 0, then it's true, and that's your answer. So here we go. 2 minus 1 is 1. Square root of 1 minus 3 plus 2 equals 0. Square root of 1 is 1. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus positive 2 is 0. And 0 equals 0. So we do know that x does equal 2. We are correct about that one. But this time, we're going to try 5 everywhere there's a 5. So, 5 minus 1 and 5 right there. So, here we go. 5 minus 1 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So then 2 minus 3 plus 5 equals 0. 2 minus 3 is negative 1 plus 5 is a 4. 4 does not equal 0. So, this is not true. So, your final answer would just be x equals 2. Okay? Now, let's do the last one, and we are done. All right? Now, each of these present a new ton of problems, so make sure you're not turning me off, because um, you'll miss it. So here we go. Square root of 2x minus 3 equals square root of x plus 2. Now, because these are both square root of and square root of, we're going to take it and square both of them to get rid of the square roots. So then we get 2x minus 3 equals x plus 2 once we square root both of them. Okay? Now, again,